Pink Lovers, I'm Emma aka The Pin Curator and welcome to my brand new uh, YouTube channel where I will talk about everything and I'm all pins. I started my collection in 2016 and it's now March 2019 and I have about 700 pins. So that's a lot, it's a big collection um, but I like them all. I've also created my own pins that you can see here. My pins are still for sale, but I don't make new ones anymore. I'm just focusing, well, focusing on collecting. So most of my pins I bought myself, of course, through uh, the maker's shop or with Kickstarters. And quite a few of them I traded or were gifted to me very kindly. And also some of them were sent to me for free. Um, in exchange of a feature in my stories or on my grid because last year in May 2018 I started an account just for uh, my pin collection which is called The Pin Curator. A lot of people enjoy my photos which makes me happy but the thing that I love the most is when people tell me they discover new makers through my photos and then go follow them and buy from them. I really like this and this was the purpose of this account to begin with. Okay, so that's done for my introduction. I'm going to show you very quick where I store my pins and how I display some of them. And then I will make a pinhole uh, for all the pins that I received so far in 2019. So for the months of January and February. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so very quickly, I keep all my pins in those boxes. I've got some here. So those are the pins that I got recently and I've not yet uh, photographed. In this box, I keep very, very big pins. In those boxes, I keep pin organized by uh, pin makers. Okay, for instance, this box is for Full Fox Studio. So if I open it, I've got my pins inside and then each pin comes in a little plastic bag with the name of the pin and the pin maker. So this was a little glimpse at my organization and how I store my pins. Um, if you want to see a dedicated video about this you can let me know in the comments or vote in the poll here here uh, I will add a few um, video ideas for the future of this channel. Okay it's time for the pinhole of this video. I'm gonna show you all the pins I got since the beginning of 2019. So all the pins I got in January and February. So those are my first pins of 2019. They were all made by Finpin Shop and those are trades that I've made with them and they also included a bunch of freebies so thank you so much Jacqueline and Yasmin, I really appreciate it. First pin in the lot is this gorgeous turtle. It's made with rainbow metal and you can see the details and the reflection. It's an absolutely gorgeous pin, I really really love it. Second pin is this you oct by my heart. I think it's very cute and funny. Uh, the heart is in glitters. That's the kind of pin that it's so fun to have for like Valentine's Day and such. Really, really cute. Third pin is this little green puffin. It's so cute. I really, really love um, the design. I think it's adorable. And then we've got a mola mola or sunfish, I think it's called and it's really lovely i love the colors love the details and love the little sun within the silhouette of the pin up next we've got this blue pelican i think it's really nice i love the pastel colors quite simple but very lovely after that we've got this black and rose gold seahorse it's really really nice Look at this reflection, so satisfying and so detailed. Up next we've got this rose gold and white nautilus pin and it is one of my favorite from them. It is absolutely gorgeous, really, really pretty. And here's a little cuttlefish friend, yellow and rose gold, 
lovely details like look at that look at the fins really 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 cool next we have this little skeleton whale i think it's a whale i'm not sure uh, but it's really really nice and again the design is so intricate so much details and last but not least it's a set in collaboration with full fox studio so you've got a origami whale and origami orca and they are both super nice I really like the pastel colors and the details in the waves and such really really good job honestly lovely pair after that I received this uh, big pin by Krista D it says yep I'm the artist I think it's really fun and very convenient for conventions and this was part of a Kickstarter up next we've got this gorgeous little Kitsune pin by Dathi Art. I'm so sorry, I don't know how to pronounce this. It's a very pretty Kitsune with some red flowers. And then I got all those Sailor Moon pins by Pinkachi. Uh, so I've got Jupiter, Mercury, Mars, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Moon, Chibi Moon, Uranus, and Neptune. The design on those is super lovely, very intricate. I love the glitters, I love all the little lines for the flowers. It's such a good design, I had to get them all. Uh, those are seconds, so they have slight imperfections. I bought the seconds listing to make it a little bit cheaper for me. Up next we've got four pins by Northern Spells, those were from one of her Kickstarters. This Kitsune is absolutely lovely, really love the design, love the colours and love the subtle uh, glitters. Then there's this Winter Fox, I actually have this pin in uh, orange but she made a winter version, but I had to, <laughs> I wanted to have it as well because I'm I really love foxes. Then I have this moon potion and to apologize for the delay she also sent this as a freebie which is really really cute. After that I received those uh, very cute in pink pins by Unicorn Paper and they are really really lovely. So the first pin is this ice cream cone, unicorn ice cream cone. I love all the details, it's very cute, love the little stars and love, 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 love the pastel tones. Then there's this um, unicorn teapot, then again love the pastels, the stars, the rainbows. This is such a cute collection. And last but not least this huge pin, much bigger than what I expected. It's this unicorn bakery and I really love the details in the windows, really really lovely pin. Next I received those two pins by The Mosh Potato, they were sent to me for free, thank you so so much, they are so cute and adorable. I really love the details of the flowers and the plants inside the bulb, I think this is a really pretty pin and look at this reflection <laughs> every time, every time it gets me. So it comes in two colors and they sent me both. Next I've got a few pins from Morgane Barret. The first we've got this little set of stars. They are really lovely. I think they will look super good as uh, pinball fillers or just on their own. Next there's this Peter Pan silhouette pin and I think it's very clever and very pretty. And I love the touch of the little stars and all. And last but not least, this carousel pin. Uh, it's a horse from the Mary Poppins carousel, I believe. And it's really, really lovely. Next, I've got three pins by Luna Lilliputian. Um, then again, I'm not sure how you pronounce this, so I'm sorry if I messed it up. But they are very cute pins. So first pin is this uh, claw machine pin, 
the Sailor Moon Claw Machine pin and this is the first time that I see a pin like this and I think that's really cute and funny and I really like uh, the little claw over here I like the glitters, I like the details and I like the little crystals here it's such a nice pin next is the unicorn in a shell with wings, I don't really know what creature this is it's a really lovely pin, love the colors I uh, love the glitters, love the details in the shell, like the little hearts and stars, super cute. And the third pin is this Pegasus, this moon face Pegasus in a rainbow metal. It's really, really lovely. Up next we've got pins by Miyoko, I've got three of them and they are very lovely, as usual. This first pin is a magician cape and I think the details are really nice. I really love this uh, minimalist design. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure it's gunmetal plating and it's very very reflective which is really nice. And the last one is this Pikachu on a Nintendo Switch which is super cute. This next pin is by Lana J. It is a white cat and it says magical. It's got a little moon on its forehead, so I'm guessing it's a reference to Sailor Moon. It's very, very lovely. Up next are those two pins by Artwork and Cute Things, a mermaid and a unicorn. The unicorn is actually a repurchase because I had it for a couple of years, but recently my sister bought it from me to uh, give to a niece. So I had to buy it again and it's so lovely. And the mermaid is really new to my collection this time. It's really nice, I really love the pose. I like the, the flow of the hair and the glitters once again. You will notice I like glitters if you haven't already. <laughs> Those next pins are the entire new collection of Shop Zoki, which is owned by my very good friend Zoe, and she sent me this uh, as a gift, so thank you so much, I really appreciate it. They are all so cute, and she's very, very talented, so make sure you check her Instagram and shop. So first there's this donut and this strawberry milk, it's very cute. A little frog character name is Ebo and I really like him. So, so adorable. Next there's this little uh, crepe with a sloth and some strawberries. Very adorable as well. Another sloth uh, holding a dango and a strawberry. Adorable. And look at this one. I think this one is one of my faves. So cute, the little faces. Ebo is adorable, is my fave. Next, there's two colorways of the wagashi boxes. And wagashis are like a Japanese traditional sweets. And I think this pin is absolutely lovely. Really love the details, love the little faces in the box. Another box, and this one is a bento box. So basically a packed lunch. So I've got onigiris and strawberries and sushis, tamago sushis, I think. And the one of the onigiri is uh, Ebo's face. I love them, so cute. And last but not least, my absolute fave, Ebo, my boy, with a strawberry. Look at that, adorable. I can't, I'm not, I can get over it. I don't know, I don't even know how to talk anymore. It's the best. And the last pins I received in February are those by Emily Stoff. She's a fellow French pin maker. And those are so cute and I actually have the packaging still on this one. So first we've got this little cat. Uh, clown maybe? I don't know. I mean a little festive, festive cat. I really love him. He has glitters and is absolutely the cutest. Next there's this little bat, purple bat, 
and look at the glitters it's absolutely fascinating to look at them and the last pin is this little heart hugging itself i think it's so adorable i really like it and there it is so cute so this is it all my pins from 2019 so far uh, I really love them all, they are so incredibly lovely and detailed and such good quality so I'm very very happy about that. Please make sure you follow everyone on Instagram and you check their shop and now it's time to say goodbye. And that's the end of my very first video on this channel, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week for our next video, bye!